Alrighty, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode here, episode number two of Tropico 6 and uh, we are literally starting off exactly where we finished the, the previous episode. Now the, the thing I love about Series X is the quick resume and I don't have to go and boot up the game and, and load into it, it's literally I just jump into the game, hit quick resu uh, resume and we are exactly where we left off in the previous episode which is awesome, I love it. So. Uh, what did we do the last one? We actually progressed, I think, to the, uh, what is it, the World War era? I think we did, yeah, the World War era, so we have 80,000, I think we actually have a shipment coming in. Let me just move my microphone real quick. There we go. It is hitting my monitor, I need to move my monitor. I'll adjust it some other time, but how much do we have in here? Only $7,000, so every time you upgrade into a new era, Pretty much all of your income will be slashed in half, so always prepare for that. So, previously I was relying on things like planks uh, and rum to make the majority of my money, but now that I've upgraded, the things that I was using, like the rum, the, the prices are not as great. You can still make a lot of money, and I always suggest keeping all of your industries from the start, because you can use them over and over and over. And they're just, you know, they're just so helpful because everything, even though this is like one of the first best money making methods using a lumber mill and logging camp, there are so many things later on down the track in the game which require planks and logs, etc, uh, etc. Et so all that good stuff is actually needed later on in the game. Damn cat is behind me. I tried to get the cat out but he wanted to stay in the room so he's probably going to start, yep, he's, he's standing at the door, he's probably going to start scratching at it soon. But anyway, let's get this uh, this video going. So the first thing I want to do, and what everyone should really do, uh, the first time they go ahead and progress to the next stage, is upgrade everything that they already have. Now this is a thing that everybody can get themselves in trouble with, is they they will go over here, right, and they'll go, oh construction, what can I what can I buy? And they'll go ahead and be like, oh I can buy. What the hell is that? That's new. Must be part of one of the DLCs. I haven't seen, like I said. All the DLC that I have, I haven't seen any of the items in it, so... High quality residential building for one household. One person lives there? Yeah... Oh, housing quality is a hundred. That could be good. That actually could be really good late game. It does require 15 electricity, but... Yeah, it gives you a hundred housing quality. So you pair that with a few other things I plan on doing, and your housing will be maxed out it should be anyway and that means I can have 2,000 houses in the game and in a game like this where the map you know dies out really fast because you run out of things to place uh, that could be really really helpful so I might look into that but yeah like I said the problem people fi uh, find themselves in is they go ahead and they buy every single thing that has just came out because they panic they rush and to be honest you don't need the majority of this stuff straight out the gate corruption agency what the hell is that oh my god all right anyway so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pause the game because my money will go down. So I like to go through every single building, not the housing, but mainly all the industry like this. And I like to see what upgrades. Okay, increase the efficiency by 30%. I don't have any electricity, so I'm not going to mess with that. Reduces the time for saplings to grow. I do want to do that because that means my foliage, the little trees that you can see here will grow back quicker, which means I can harvest more stuff quicker. Also... Um, so that is done for there. Teamsters, I can actually upgrade my Teamsters, which I'll hold off for right now. And... Oh, bit, of a, bit of a hitch, that's actually the first time this game has hitched for me. And the whole time I've played this game, I think it's crashed on me once. Uh, which I think is really good. Um, what else do we need? What is this? That's my fear. Okay, increase the efficiency by 25%. I want to add that. I don't have any upgrades for this. I can change it to this. Decreases job quality by 20%, but increases the efficiency by 25%. I don't really want that right now, so I'm just going to hold off. But this is where I really want to focus most of my money right now, and that is all of this stuff. So I don't want to do the electricity on that, but I do want to upgrade these. So these are currently sitting at 115, and the efficiency on these is only 60. It's really bad. Chrome tanning decreases the consumption of hides, it's actually really good, which means I can have two of these running. 
uh, when the time comes. I don't have any upgrades for those. Now I do need to go one by one with these because they are different. Uh, decreases the upkeep of nearby ranches by three dollars. Now I can do that for eight buildings, which I will do. And I will just go along and I'll check all of these because, yeah, some of these have um, different style ones you can do. Like this one increases the upkeep by five dollars, increases job quality by fifteen dollars. I don't actually need to do that. If you've got the cotton at max, the job quality is already at 45, which is plenty uh, to keep these uh, these farms going. So um, I don't even bother with the cotton one. With the, I don't even know what that said, but you know what I mean. Um, corn, selective breeding, increases efficiency by 1% every month, up to a cap of 20%. That's really good, so I'm definitely going to get that. So after that's done, I should be at around 140% efficiency on my corn which is just way too easy uh, housing I don't need to mess with the housing um, what else do I need I think that's about it that I need to upgrade right now I'm not going to get rid of that just yet I'm going to keep that just in case we get attacked we probably won't we should be okay but what I do want to buy um, is the first things I will buy are businesses and industries that um, work with my current industry. So, you know, my sugar works with my rum, my logging camps work with my lumber mills. So I want this one, I want my lumber mills to work with my shipyard, there it is. And what that will do is it will turn the lumber mills of the, the planks from the lumber mill into boats. And boats are worth tons of money. Especially in this era, so this is definitely uh, the way to go if you want to make some decent money. I'll go ahead and click that, set budget for all buildings, crank that right up. Increases the efficiency by 20%, so boom, straight off the bat we can increase the efficiency by 20%. We'll do that on both buildings. Those will fill up real quick, just in a second. And what are these? Country house and country house. So I don't want to mess with those. What I do also need is I need to put down a clinic, a fire station, and a proper church. So I'm going to go ahead and demolish that. And uh, I'll hold on to that one real quick. So we'll put down a clinic. Probably pop a clinic down here. I'm pretty sure that you don't actually need the clinic to be facing a road. I don't think it needs a road access. So you could probably put it like right there and it would work just fine. So just for purposes of right now, I'm just gonna pop it down right there. I'm not too worried about it not looking the best. Um, go ahead and put down a firehouse which will fit. Will that fit there? Let me just speed this up for a second. Perfect. Nice. I actually like it sitting right there. I do not like the circus, but that's okay. So one thing you will notice, let's pause it real quick. Uh, no, I'll let it go. One thing you will notice with this game is as soon as you go to a new era, all the things that are required, such as a clinic or uh, a fire station or a police station, all of those events will start happening. All of a sudden you'll have a bunch of fires, you'll have a bunch of sick people dying and crime will go up so it forces you to do it that's what i mean people will panic they'll go and buy a ton of stuff they don't need straight off the bat and then they forget to put down the essentials and then they'll screw so you need to make sure that you spend your money wisely especially at the beginning of the game pretty much at the beginning of any game you need to have that attitude because it will catch up with you pretty fast if you don't uh, if you're not careful now i can buy flop houses um and I can buy apartments. They don't require any electricity. They hold 10 people, 9 people. Must be at least poor. Um, I'm not going to unlock those right now, but I do want to look at those later down the track. Uh, in the next episode, we probably will do a lot of uh, renovating and, and moving things around, getting everything into its final position, having it looking a lot better, because we just have so much room to work with. Uh, look at how, how much room we have. And we have a population of 300 people. And the max pop is 
2000. In my opinion, 2000 is way too low. I think a max pop of at least five to, uh, 5,000 people on console would be good. But because this game is so old, I think, well, I hope that they're focusing on making a new one of these and uh, utilizing, you know, the, the next gen console's power and having some, uh, you know, bigger limits for console players at least. But you never know. We might not ever see a game like this again. Just like, you know, people have been waiting for a new Sims to come out. And I have been personally waiting for been waiting for a new Sims to come out forever. But, you know, the time it does come out, it's probably going to be just, like, I don't think the next Sims will be any different to the current Sims. I think all it's going to be is a glorified Sims with all the DLC in it, but for free, you don't have to pay for it. And maybe two or three new items which are probably throwbacks from older versions of the game. So I don't have my, hype, my hopes too high for a, a Sims game in the future anytime soon. Um, unfortunately, these big game companies are getting really lazy. They honestly are. The originality is, is going out the window these days with these games, and they, they are getting really stale and extremely repetitive to the point where it's laughable uh, to even call it a new game. Uh, but you know, there's nothing you can really do about me, it. President, I have a little task that you might enjoy. It is so much fun that by doing it, you will owe me a favor. Okay, blah blah blah, be quiet. So we got a, another trade to do. We've got two people to do now, uh, to trade with, and that is. Oh, crud, I just accepted that. My bad. I don't even have cigars. Idiot. Anyway, I'm gonna do. Oh, meat is below. Oh man, 30. Oh, that's not good. We can do fish. I will do fish. I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to cancel that. It's gonna cost me, but it's not gonna cost me too much. Go back down here and I've got tons of cotton, so I will do cotton. For that one there. So you've got two new people that you can you can work with. You've got that guy, and then this other British guy. So it's up to you who you want to go with. It doesn't really impact the game too much. Oh, what the heck is going on there? What are you doing, fella? Yeah, that's how boats Comrades work. Are restless, President. Oh, plus you've got this they guy. Have not cooperated upon Build a radio station. In many days. Except... Yeah, I don't know what this guy is doing. We've got a kid leaning in the middle of the air. We've got a kid T-posing at the front. We got this guy just levitating, and then we got another little, oh, another two kids over here, T posing. Oh, and another one. <laughs> a head stick it out. Oh gosh. Well, good thing that that boat's leaving with those people because. Wait, are they? Are they just turning around? Oh no, they're probably good. There we go. Ooh, look at that. We're already got 127 boats. 50 ant boats there and a ton of planes. And efficiency is 145%. Presidente, we must choose a side in this terrible war before it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow, we already have $53,000. I didn't even notice that. Uh, so, actually, what I need to do, let's check the edicts. Oh, we have a bunch. Sweet, we have the money for it too. So, I want to put on church fee. So that's going to. I always look. I'm just going to skip that. That's going to, um, you know, charge people to enter a church, and it starts off at one dollar per entry, and then it, I think it goes up to three dollars. See, all these edicts here, they're, they've changed now. So now this one, uh, what is it? Um, upkeep is increased by fifty percent. Ships move ten percent faster. Now when it upgrades to the next star, it'll have better stats. See, this one here is now everyone pays three dollars for food that they take. And the standing you lose is less. So I'm going to get employee of the month. Uh, actually, no, I'm not because I don't have any mines. But I'm not too sure which industrial buildings are considered industrial buildings, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to leave that. But this one here, all right? Always remember to put this one on if you've got agriculture. Uh, it increases, increases the efficiency by 25%. So we'll go over here and we'll have a look at this right now. We have... Oh, people are leaving. Can't have that. Always double check. This is another thing. Every time you go to a new era, people actually leave their jobs because they become more educated, so they're looking for better jobs. So always make sure that your workers are all filled up. Okay, 125%, and then we will go over here. 
Actually, where's our corn? Where's our corn at? Corn, there we go. Oh, look, it's even still going up, 131%. We'll go ahead and pop on that, um, the subsidy the thing. Okay, that will level up over time as well. Now we're sitting at 156%. Just like that. And the more product that you can produce, the more rum you can produce. I so understand. On, so Our requests have been fulfilled. Um, I'm going to get with blueprints. That's all I want. I need to build a radio station. Now, don't worry about that. About these down the bottom. Everyone they don't has actually... Friends, right, oh, shut up, dude. And go away. Right go help. away. Go away. You don't actually have a time limit on these specific ones. Unless it says down the bottom where it says you have 180 days to do this mission. Then most of the time I will deny those ones because they're extremely difficult sometimes. Um, so... Oh, I unlocked the blueprint for the embassy. I was actually going to build that too. It saves me some money. So... Let's have a look at the unemployment real quick. Unemployment, we have one unemployed person and three homeless. So we are good to go right now. We actually need more workers because we need to make a bit more money. But I like I like this pace. I'm going to leave it on times two because I think that is a good speed. Especially with the ships coming in quite fast. We don't have to worry about um, the game playing too slow. So what I do want to do is I want to unlock one of these and the one I want to use is the high school education one so I'm gonna do that do I have enough points I don't so I'm gonna do a couple more of these and then when those are all finished I should have enough to go ahead and get one of those wanders and then once I get the wander I think I will go ahead and um, save up a little bit of money off camera just let the game play out for a bit uh, and then when I've got enough, like maybe two, three, four hundred thousand, I'll go ahead and redesign all the roads, make it look a little bit more, you know, you know nicer, and um, go from there. Oh, I it didn't. It didn't. I'm not going to put those on full capacity just yet because this, the town is still fairly small, so I don't feel that I need it yet. Um, increases job quality. Service quality by 10. I do want to add that. And I'm going to put that on max as well. More people in. More people I can get um, in and out of the place. So, what was I going to look at? Not the edicts. Research. Next thing I want to research is I want to research. I'm going to do the things that I really need first. So, I'm going to do building permit. I'm going to do prohibition. Right of arms. Wealth tax, military police, and I'll do these two here because they are like a constitution law things that you have to do. So once those are all done, I'll go ahead and add those on as well, and uh, we should have some money going into. They call our me the broker. Broker account. I guess I'll just skip this. I'll let you guys. To you? I'll let it's you guys. Strictly above board, of course. Talking. He is, he is a right pain in the bum later in the, uh, down the game. So, I'll let you guys listen to all of those things. That's why I'm skipping them. I don't have any income. So, Swiss bank account is pretty much where you can get, like, little deals and and stuff like that. You can, you know, you can buy blueprints and and all that good stuff or, or increase your standings or increase your image for your people so you can win the elections. If you don't win the elections, it, it's game over. So, yeah. I'll, I'll talk about that when we do get to that stage, but we do need to get a church. We have the money, so we might as well plop down a church. I would like to replace that one, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do with the space, so... We'll put it down over... Yeah, we'll just put it down over here. I know it's not the prettiest, but... Um, don't worry about that. It's uh, like I said, it's still early times. Presidente, oh my God. there is a flaw build in a our military machine. We literally just built We a do fire not station. have enough of the things that I want. I'm just going to accept it. At this, at this time, you just gotta bite the bullet. It's no big issue. You just go ahead and quick build it, like I said. Presidente, your aid is appreciated. Go ahead and take the standing. And demolish it because it's not needed. Let the money build up. What are we looking at? 15,000. Okay, tobacco, rum, and 
what I think I want to work on is I might add, depending on how much, is that 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, that's how I like it. So anything over about 4,000, I'll go ahead and add a new one, but for right now, it's not needed. So what I might do is I might start working on, because I have tobacco, right? I've got two tobacco, so uh, where's my logging camps? I've got logging camps are there, so I can probably use this section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up another industry, which is going to be cigar factories. I'm going to add, because I only have two of these, I'm going to add, uh, what's the percentage on these? 136, 138, uh, where the heck is it? Here we go. I'll add two of these. And because our unemployment rate is so low, I'm going to import some workers. Uh, removes two jobs, positions, increases the efficiency. Right now, I don't really need that because um, I don't think I'm going to be producing enough uh, tobacco. Because I've only got two tobacco plantations. Um, but once you get to late game, man, oh, it's so much easier when you get the hydroponic farms. It's so good. You can save so much room. Sorry about that. I said to have a drink. Okay, so yeah, I'll leave those. I'll let those... Oh, they're already filled up. But I think now is a good time to go ahead and get my Teamsters all upgraded. $17,000. It didn't do it all because now I'm in debt, but that's okay. Need your help. President. And here's the other fella. It's all gone pear shape. Okay. He wants a trade route. Quickly jump back into there. I'm not producing canned goods or cheese or cocoa coffee. I am producing meat, but the meat is negative 38%, so that's probably not the best to buy. Uh, sugar, tobacco. Oh, dang. One month. It's going to reset in one month. We'll just wait on that for a second. Speed up the time a little bit. And think about our next move. So, what we could do, actually... Where was our mining? Oh, we have no money. We're negative 12,000. Negative 16,000. But we're going to we're gonna get a big influx of money right here. Ready? 26,000. Nice. And... While that's doing its thing, we will go ahead and have a look at some of the other stuff. Radio station, don't need it right now. High school, don't really need it. Uh, El Presidente Club, what's that? Faction leader working in its club. Receive a personal experience boost of 15, of 15 and also receive a flat gain of 5. Club generates 1.7... Corruption poo club. <laughs> well, that ain't good, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what that does later on down the track. Could be interesting. So you can, I can already build weapons factories, textile. Oh, textile. That is definitely one I need to work on. Textile is so good. You can pump out so much with these. And because I've got cotton, I'm pretty sure there's an upgrade for this. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this over... I'll go put it over here. Really quick. Costs a lot of money to build this, but it also is really good. So I like to change it to acrylic dyes. Efficiency is increased by 15%. Increases pollution by 50%, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll sort that out later. Increases efficiency. Use both cotton and wool. Um, adds two additional, additional job positions. But I think there's already plenty of job positions. It's already at 140. It takes cotton. So now my cotton's getting used to make clothes. My tobacco's getting used to make cigars. My sugar is getting used to make rum. My logs are getting made into planks, which are being made into boats. So all my industries are working with other industries, which is exactly what you want. My standing is 86%, which is fine. Anything over 50% is good. You're good to go, so don't panic too much. Negative 
17. Okay, that's okay. That get issued. Another 30k. Okay. I need to keep an eye on these two because as soon as these are done. Now this here, this is up to you. You can put this on if you want. But it pretty much makes it so if you're wealthy or filthy rich, you can, instead of paying rent, it says it right there, instead of paying rent, it puts the money into your um, Swiss bank account. So your Swiss bank account will go up that much more quicker. Produce coal. Okay, I will do that. Because I plan on doing that right now. I am going to find it really quickly. A mine. And we're just going to go ahead and pop some of these down. So we're going to go ahead and pop that guy down right there. We've got two, two coal plants that we can put down here. What you can do is you can half them. So let me just show you. So if you place if you place it like like that in the middle, you can actually get another one to place right there. So you can place one there. And sometimes if you do it on Filthy Rich, you can get four mines down on one spot. But because these are only got a hundred thousand, uh, I don't really need that many because they're not going to last long. So uh, I'll go ahead and put that down there as well. Go ahead and bring this road behind this one. Oh gosh, I can't see a thing. There's all these trees. And then in front of that one there. And then we can go ahead and make like a little island. Like so. And maybe around this guy as well. We can link that all up and we can add some houses and you know what we could probably box that off as well there we go oh and we've got this one here to do right now this one I'm just going to go like this oh gosh this is right in the middle of oh that's a bit, bit of a bummer These dang trees are in the way Now you don't have to box this off like this, I just do this out of habit, so I'm going to leave that like that. Oh gosh, it's not going to line up, that's not the best. What if we go from this angle? Okay, that'll work. That'll work for now. And then we will go like... Um, how far do I want that to come? Now we'll leave it like that. Go ahead and quick build these real quick. Boom, just like that. Put them all on full. Uh, decreases the risk of the buildings burning down. Always do that, just because it's, it's good. I'm not going to add the workers because I don't feel I need them. And then now that I'm producing coal, let's go ahead and get some workers in here too actually and fill these spots up just like so what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and make some power because power is definitely a game changer in this game um, power there we go so unlock that and then I'll unlock power plants oh wrong button can I fit this in there? no I can't that's a bit of a bummer but that's okay and we will put that just there. I think it's fine. Just gonna slow that down. Can I not build that? No, I can't. Jeez, those are expensive. And then these here, these electric substations, you need these to power pretty much everything else in the area. Um, which I'm I don't know if I should really focus. No, I don't I don't have anything that requires electricity yet, so. Once I get to that stage, I'll go ahead and upgrade it, but for right now, I'll, uh, I'll let the game just do its thing. Let these dudes start working. It's going to take you a while hammering like that, buddy. Swinging and missing. Well, $16,000, okay. Uh, produce coal, yes, With yes, any of no. These no, they don't interest me. Go away. Right, the standing is not the best. What are they wanting? Homeless, 10%. Okay, my food is not the best. Healthcare is not the best. Faith is definitely not good. 
Job is okay, liberty is okay, crime's okay. Okay, so what I am going to do is I need to add in let that build, come on. Increases efficiency by 10%. I am going to increase that. So I'm, I want to focus now on trying to get it pretty much all the industries going that I possibly can. So the next one I want to make is the steel mill. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that guy over here. Now there's no, I'm not in a hurry to get these up and running and producing materials, but I'm pretty sure that this doesn't require coal to actually work. I think it's just steel that's needed. But we are producing coal from two coal areas, so actually I might put some Teamsters in here too. I might put two Teamsters in this area, just to speed it up a little bit. Now we are producing coal, so that is good. Oh, trade route. I forgot about that trade route. So this is your standing. This shows you what your standing is with that uh, with that alliance. So, gosh, I for completely forgot about that trade route. Okay, go to here. Okay, now we're producing cigars. So I'm not going to do cigars with them. I'm going to do corn because I have a ton of it. 3,925 corn. That's easy. I'll get that done. And I will go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to add in probably the embassies in a minute, once I get some money coming in. Let's have a look at what we're working with right now. 24, that's not good enough. So we're still producing a ton of corn. Um, 32,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need, we need to be producing way more than that. I'm not happy with that. Okay. Go ahead and put Resident. a building permit. Now what this is going to do is every time I build something, which I will be doing now, uh, I think it's like 2% of the, the, the money goes to my Swiss bank account. And then, a few opportunities know. came up. Nothing illegal. Well, nothing that can be proven to break any laws. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. So you can see image campaign, convincing talks, all these are really good for skipping missions when you don't want to do them, because they do get repetitive really fast. Um, so image campaign is really good when you're, uh, when you're standing with your areas getting really low, you can go ahead and boost it with no problem. So, man, I, there's just so many things to place down when you first start this game. And once you get them down, and you will go negative, so don't worry about that. Immigration office. Not too worried about the immigration. That can kind of just do its thing at the moment. Uh, increase export prices. That is definitely something to have. And it is so messy. I'm literally just placing down buildings wherever I feel I can place them. But uh, like I said, we'll get around to it. Everything will be moved once we get everything situated. Uh, probably by the end of the next episode or the one after that. So if you want to check to see how much you're making, you can actually see it here. Last 12 months, $20,000. But if you want a more in-depth thing, you can come into this bit here. It says your revenue versus your expenses. So I'm making $100,000 a month, or last 12 months. And my expenses were $98,000. But you've got to remember that's also including things that you've built. So $20,000 in construction upkeep my wages is the the most right now but if the wages were lower it, it's it's exactly the same you know my wages if i lower all my wages they might be at thirty thousand or twenty thousand but my total revenue might be at fifty thousand so having it high just speeds the overall process up okay blueprints once again you know things that so i'm losing two thousand dollars in crime and up and I've did upgrades as well. Upkeep bunkhouse. Oh, my bunkhouse is so expensive. Did I accidentally put the? No. Do it in the air. 
That's strange. Okay, some of these buildings are not being built. How many workers do we have? We still have four. There's no one working there. They've just finished that. Holy cow, that was slow. Now, that coal is going into here. Thing. One person's already left here. What's up with that? Good job there, oh, President. We got that one. Thanks Sweet. awfully. Get a random blueprint. So while we have the money, I'm gonna go ahead and build a uh where are they? I just saw them. I just went off my screen. There it is. Now I can either build a bank and uh, actually I'm gonna get a ministry straight off the bat, because ministries are one of the best ways to get easy money into your um, into your Swiss account. I'm gonna quick build that. Oh dang it! I can't. That's so expensive. I'm gonna speed these guys. You guys can get a little bit of a pay increase real quick. Oh gosh. Concerned about foreign trade Wrong thing. putting you out of a job? Fear not. The Where is this country house? I keep clicking on. here to protect you by manipulating, monitoring hell? international trade. I'm literally built on that house. Okay. I'm going to increase their wages just by a little bit. No. Wrong button. Come on, come on, come on. Give me some money. My standing is just flying down right now. I don't know what the deal is. I'm just going to hire two more workers there. And what that will do is if we go over to this screen, we now have a stimulus, uh, a stimulated exports by 1%. Now that will increase over time. I can't remember what the max is, but uh, yeah, that'll do its thing. It'll be all good. And we have almost no workers in here. Go ahead and fill these up. Okay, iron and coal, that will produce steel. Steel is worth a ton of money. Now, the reason I wanted a ministry. Wait for it to finish really quick. There we go. Oh, wrong button. The reason I wanted a ministry. Now, you can access the ministry by going to politics and then going over to this screen here. Now, you got all these education things and whatnot that you can assign people to. So. All of them have different uh, options that they they will provide you. So uh, if you go with a religious candidate, uh, decreases the efficiency of education, buildings, and makes people want to be more religious in that area. So, which also means that you have to have more of the things that those groups require, such as you have to have more cathedrals and churches and stuff like that. Um, Increases student slots in high schools by 2%. We won't actually need that if once we get the uh, the Wanda thing. Um, once again, increases the education. Only well off. We'll, we'll just go with this one for now. Uh, defense. Police stations. We'll provide infantry squads. Upkeep. And then there you go right there. $75 per month will go into my Swiss account. So I'm just going to put that on. Increases the efficiency of buildings on max budget. So pretty much all buildings that I have on max, max bu budget, their efficiency will go up once again by 7%, which is huge. So we'll go ahead and... Everyone has to do their bit. Yeah, yeah. Where's our sugar? Oh, corn, sorry. So it's 165% right now. Now, hopefully, if that works correctly... Uh, where is it? Increase that... Now we're at 172. Almost at 200% for all of our crops right now. Which is just super good. So it's just even more that we're going to produce. Um, which is exactly what you want. Go ahead and go back to that screen. Increases efficiency of raid buildings by 5%. And then obviously I'm going to go for the broker. Uh, rebels and criminals have a 10% chance to lose their role every time they visit a chapel, church, or cathedral. 
which is something that I think a lot of people don't look at. I, I think it's really good because in late game, the Rebels can just get out of control, especially when you get some of the other stuff in the game. It can drive you nuts. You're just having constant attacks 24-7, and it can be a real pain in the neck. I'm going to increase that. Now, I'm going to put another church over here. So what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to demolish these two here. And I'm going to pop in a, another church. Like so. Now, we have $10,000. So I'm going to go ahead and get these embassies underway. Go ahead and pop them right there. Put a road there as well, just so you know, they can actually get to the building, if that's a thing. And that should be right. So we're at 47. We are still really, really low when it comes to our overall happiness and stuff. What is doing it? So faith should go up in a minute. Housing definitely needs some work. And healthcare definitely needs some work. So what we will do there is we will go ahead and oh, we'll go ahead and pop another clinic right here Oop, wrong button increase that oh gosh so many finicky buttons put that on max and i've already had a person leave my ministry so this happens a lot. It can be a real pain in the bum to constantly have to do this, but it is what it is. Fact or fiction? Tropic and scientists say we don't understand the physics. Let the game do its thing. Try harder. Twenty-eight thousand. Okay, that's still okay. Did all the cards go crazy? Now let's check our edicts. Has anything else done its job? Okay, so now you can see our agricultural subsidies is maxed out as well. And that now you can see increases the, other, the agricultural buildings by 30% and increases the upkeep on those buildings by 45%. So it lowers the upkeep cost of the previous star and increases the amount as well. And uh, also it increases the amount which goes into my specific bank account. But now I'm going to add prohibition, decreases the efficiency of all entertainment buildings by 30%. Increases the efficiency of all other buildings by 10%. So that'll be another 10% if you want to improve. that we will add on to our buildings. So now we are, are going to use the employee of the month Everyone. as well, which is going to be good. And I think we are going to use this, which will increase the food quality by 12. And because food quality is so low right now, that's I think tired. that's something we need. And we have an abundance of corn, so they can eat until their hearts content. That's no problem at all. So now let's go back to the same crop that we always look at, 182%, looking real good there. Go back into here, food quality, boom. Now that's up to 60, that is really good. Uh, we have our healthcare is almost at 40, fun 50. Faith is in the 40s now, which is good. Now housing quality is probably the next thing. See the problem is I don't have that many homeless and unemployed, so it's not much of an issue, so I think the easiest way I can get around this without having to build more properties, because I don't have people for those properties, is just increasing my bunkhouse housing quality up one. So that it's 42% housing quality. So now when I go to housing, it's currently at 37%. Now we'll check that in a second. Let the game run, do its thing. And because I have these on max, the prohibition doesn't affect it too much. It's still 8% higher than the base stats of the game. So that's always, always good. Okay, our rating has gone up to 50, 51, 52. It's sitting around about 52. Okay, that's okay. Housing, 38. Okay, it's slowly going up. What's our Caribbean happiness? I just saw it on the screen. Sometimes this bugs out. I don't know why. There it is. Caribbean happy, happiness is 42% and our overall happiness is 49 So if your overall happiness is higher than the Caribbean happiness, people won't leave your country or your city. 
if the Caribbean happiness is higher, people will constantly leave and you'll constantly have guerrilla attacks and it can be a bit of a pain in the backside. Damn, 44k can be taking the money. Probably the cigars. Now we're going to do a quick check and uh, have a look. The citizens are demanding elections, President. Oh, and here's it our elections. That they want the I will deliver an amazing speech. Now, in this screen, you get the options to choose what you want to talk about. You can you can discuss. And the first one, you, you're going to acknowledge what you think the main issue in your city is. Uh, so I'm going to say housing is the issue because now you can use this to your advantage if you know that the elections is coming up and you're about to um, upgrade something for instance I'm gonna do housing now that's because it's my lowest stat I want to focus on housing so I'm gonna click housing uh, so now he'll he'll talk about how he knows that housing is the issue praise faction now this is personal preference you can do whoever you want uh, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with the communists blame superpower I'm gonna leave that at nobody and job happiness I won't let you actually increase that I'm not too sure why that does that uh, if you know you can let me know down in the comments below but housing happiness I'm going to click that and you need to be really careful because sometimes the requirement for your promise that you made because you have to fulfill these promises so unlike New Zealand where you can just say we're gonna fix the housing crisis I'll just send an say that and then next minute you know a year two years has passed and the housing crisis is ten times worse than the previous years back uh, you know there's actually there's not really that many consequences in real life because people just brush it off right but in this game it's like cutthroat air so if you don't fulfill those promises of the housing crisis in the game so right now if I it'll say to me that I have to get my housing crisis to four or uh, to 50 right so if I don't meet that those 50 uh, housing stats in the game within a specific time because these do give you a time frame uh, you cannot uh, do this part in the next election because they remembered that you didn't fulfill your last promise and your ratings will be lower so always make sure that you have the money and know what you're gonna do people of tropico it is i your president you have showed your faith in me and that he's not many people turned up is it rewarded every tropicon will get what they deserve and what oh my gosh people? these cameras are so sensitive i feel your pain when your walls shudder and your roofs leak those of you who have roofs, Vasun, roofs for all and walls for many. Our efforts are aided I'm trying to get the best photo, but I can't. Comrades, to each according to their need, from each according to their ability. Equality for all, especially those who are more equal than others. What can you look forward to in the years to come? Better housing, slantier roofs, straighter walls, more transparent windows. The Tropican House of Tomorrow is built with standards. My promises are made humbly, for I am Tropico. Remember, a vote for El Presidente is a vote for me. Alright, the election thing is done. So now I have a little bar on the side. Just slow down the screen really quick. You have your approval rating. The people that don't agree with you, people that are on the fence, and then the people that do approve of you. So I'm currently at 68%. Now, like I said, if your approval rating is lower than 50%, then it's not a good time. You will lose the game, so you've got to make sure the upkeep on that is okay, that all your civilians are happy. You can't just run a death camp. Well, you can, if you want. Uh, it actually gives you options in the game to run the exports, game like that. Like just Who doesn't straight love up. exports? Oh yeah, we'll do that. This guy talks too much. I hate him. Um, it does actually give the option to, to be like that. You know, you can enslave your workers and give them the crustiest house as possible, but I don't... Even though it's a game, I just... I can't bring myself to do that. It just doesn't feel right, even in a game. So I'm going to go ahead and invite these people into here. Just like so. The reason I did that is so then I can go ahead and praise both 
because I want to keep both parties happy and uh, not get anyone attacking me right now because I only have the old school guys right here. I don't have any decent uh, military people quite yet. Go ahead and get another worker there. Okay, I don't have any upgrades just yet. Um, go ahead and get some workers. Make sure all of these are doing their job. There we go. Get a few more checks. X. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go to my research really quick. See what else we have going. Okay, it's still doing its thing. I have not unlocked anything else yet. Okay, leave that. Okay, doing pretty well. I'm sitting at 140k right now. I'm happy with the amount we're making. Okay, we did another treasure hunt too. We found, uh, we got the research for a clinic. So it's a work mode, I'm guessing. Okay. What a soul <laughs> I like how they spelt it because. The whole point of this work mode is, it, like it says, workers only require a high school education, so it makes it seem like the workers are not as educated and a bit, you know, a bit more dulled down. <laughs> so I like that one, quack solar. <laughs> I only just realised that. That's that's hilarious. So check that. Always make sure that these workers are there. So what I want to do while I've got the money, I am going to. I'm going to start adding these around really quickly. Go and add one behind there. That should cover the majority of this area. But do I have any spots? I do have one there. And I think that should cover. I think that should cover pretty much everything that we have. Cargo airport. So I know nothing about the cargo airport and the drone taxi. All that is DLC. Drone delivery service. I don't know anything. A small indus industrial airport that can be used to transport goods within Tropico or import export goods in and out of Tropico. Planes carry no passengers. So that could actually be really helpful for getting materials out of the country to make us a bit more money a bit quicker. So we might look into that later down the track, uh, especially when we want to beautify the map and make it look a little bit more better. I'm going to go ahead and put a restaurant in for the people. Go ahead and pop that down there. And then also I want to go ahead and get some banks and pop these down. I'm going to pop these down. Oh gosh, I've placed that poorly. So... Cancel that and replace it. Just like so. And what these banks will do is they will produce a, uh, they will produce interest on my treasury. I'm pretty sure. So they will generate another income as well. And I will hire workers here. I'm sure the good citizens oh. of Tropico intend oh, I to I vote all for about you, that. Presidente. I myself intend to vote for you many, many times. All right, so this this here is this gives you the option if things are not going your way, and uh, you know that you can produce a good city and be a, a good leader, but you know <laughs> your uh, your votes are a little low. You can actually you can steal the, the the election, which is an option, which is really cool. I like games that give you options and don't force you into one specific specific area. But I think we don't need it. We're doing pretty good, so no, allow the citizens to vote freely. And, uh, yeah, we shouldn't have any issues there. Go ahead and put that on max. And then hire up some workers here. As well. State loans. Also, if you if you uh, get this in Cold War, as it, as it says, it increases the amount that you can go into debt, which is really, really helpful. Um, but right now, yeah. The building generates 2% interest at an efficiency of 100%. The election is a landslide, yeah, Presidente. Okay. 
the metaphorical kind, not all citizens the kind that vote. accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. Militia. Now, the reason I leave it on militia is to prevent all of my high school educated people going to the military, which means that all the people that are uneducated can go to the military, and all the higher educated people can go into the government buildings and the higher end jobs. Uh, because it does become an issue down the track so that's why i do that so back to what i was saying work mode so yeah it, it produces money for you interest this one produces uh has money transferred to your um how's it called your swiss bank account which is really really helpful and then this one just taxes the rich more so I normally use slush funds and national bank. President, we will talk I know about you that always we keep your promises. So as you can see here, today can be I'll just skip this. So now I'm going to pause again. So I have 2,513 days to get my happiness from 44 to 55. Now an easy way to do that. So that's quite a jump. So an easy way to do that is just by increasing your housing budget all the way to max but i'm not going to do that i'm actually going to build better homes so i'm going to uh, Sixty-four, thirty-eight, fifty-two. i'm gonna get some apartments and just some singular houses now i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna demolish every single country house because in my opinion I think that I don't like it. Now oh no I don't want to do that. Okay. That's fine. Push that, push that. Now the whole point of demolishing it is you want people to move into these new houses, right? So you don't want to have the old stuff laying around. I'm pretty sure you can actually monitor modernize the properties to get people to move into them so you don't actually have to do this but uh, it all costs money so I'd prefer to just demolish it and rebuild okay and because we have so much money I'm actually going to demolish all of the houses in this area because it's all going to get replaced with apartments so Just going to do the main city center piece first and then after that we will work on some other things but for right now we're just going to do the main section because i think that's what's important right now oh now we're going to have a ton of homeless people okay go to housing we will start off with the apartment or military action warn that it can happen here so uh, remember we could go to this way we could do bullets to keep our brave soldiers fighting there and we could go one there probably can't f no we can't fit one there pop some houses there or some apartments there sorry Put one there, leave that four, uh, two by two gap. Put one there. And I will also put a uh, bit of an odd place to have an apartment, but someone will live there, <laughs> I'm sure. But we will add apartments over here as well. Because we do have a few workers on this side, so we can't leave this side too empty. Um, and I want to fit in here. So I've got that. We're sitting at a hundred thousand. So that cost us around forty grand. Now I do want to add some flop houses because not everyone can afford the the expensive homes. So I'm not going to add too many. Maybe just one or two. Maybe one over here as well. Uh, just there and one there and then we will also add some singular homes which will fill in these these teeny tiny gaps here now once again this is not the what I said earlier this is not a beautifying spot I'm just getting the housing done 
and then uh, after that's all done we will go ahead and once again move everything around and get it into its final position so it looks not only does it look nice but it's also super efficient as well and this should prop up a lot of the housing really quickly Not want to live in this house here, but nah, I'm not placing it there. It's hideous. Uh, could probably put another flop house right there as well. Actually, you know what? I'll put another clinic there. Bomb just like that. And I'm going to quick build all of this. Now let's have a look at our homeless really quick. 283 homeless. That's because we just demolished a bunch of properties. Now, the reason I want to quick build this is because you don't want people moving in to houses on the other side of the map. Uh, you want them to be able to move into whatever property they, that's closest to them. Oh the camera definitely needs some work in this game. Um, kind of like how City Skylines, it goes down, but it also, the camera tilts upwards slightly. So you get a more... Uh, better angle. This game makes it, it's, it can be a little bit difficult at times with the camera. No, I don't know what I just did. Hopefully I didn't just screw up the scenes. No, we're good. Okay, we've got another one there. And did we do these ones? Okay, let that build real quick. And then have a look to see if we missed any. We did. Okay, so now the city definitely looks more filled up, but yeah, it can look a lot prettier than this, I assure you, and it will, it will, definitely will look better over time. This is already packed, go ahead and fill that up, make sure they're getting enough money, and as you can see, people are moving in like crazy, flop house is already filled up. Now you can increase the efficiency again with electricity, um, what are we sitting at? Okay, we're at... 43%. Our homeless should be, yeah, our homeless is way down. Now, I don't panic just yet, because as you can see, there's a lot of houses still available. There's a lot of housing space. So we are still good. How are we looking here? We've still got tons and tons of spots in here. I don't know why people are homeless, like, there are properties to move into. Sometimes you just got to demolish all of the shacks that you can see, um, because sometimes they, it'll get bugged and the people don't actually leave their shacks. They would prefer to live in a, sh a crusty old shack than move into a decent property, so just demolish them and it can actually help. And always check around your businesses. Sometimes, yeah, there you go, see? Where they work is normally where they'll shack up. Literally. Okay, there's another two there. Now I'm going to put that on four times just for a second, just to see if that actually increases. Three, four. There's another shack right there, right in front of me. to increase the budget in the rooms. Now, not for those small ones, because they, they're already fairly high, so. Increase those ones, 72. That should increase the housing a little bit quicker. We are producing a ton of income, so we're okay there. Could probably do with a few more properties, to be honest. And I'm going to add in... You need to make sure at this stage that you still have bunkhouses um, because if you don't have bunkhouses the people that are really really poor will not have anywhere to live which is not a good thing 
so just, you know, plonk him out of the way somewhere, just like so. Plus a few of them down as well. Got another one there. And also don't, don't, uh, don't do what, what a lot of people do is they, they put all of their buildings in, in one section. They don't space anything out. And that's a huge mistake because people have to get to work, right? So they don't want to be living all the way on the other side of town if they can avoid it. Just like in real life. Just, it's not efficient. Boom, just like that. That's a few more properties. 46. Okay, we should be good. We might get this. I think the city's looking good. It's starting to really fill out now. But it's hideous. In my opinion anyway, I think it looks hideous. It's super unorganized. The roads are not efficient. Um, but we're making good income. Once we get this out of the way, which we should get pretty quickly. Hopefully that keeps going up like that. 49, okay. Looking good. Actually, while we're over here, let's check this. Oh, it's empty. Okay, so you'll notice that these will change as well. You can actually get better stuff. So now I can get oil, meat, and cotton, fish, nickel, and tobacco. And if your island doesn't produce these things, these are perfect for getting them. So I actually don't have enough raid points to do what I wanted to do. So I'm going to let the building do its thing and produce its own raid points. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I can't remember actually. I'm going to hire an extra worker there. Get that. Normally, when I hear of rumblings amongst our populace, tight work I assume it is of Ooh. discontent, but on this occasion, it appears it is actually their stomachs. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I've never seen that one before. Good luck with that, people. Alright, let that do its thing until it gets up to where we need it. And then, as soon as we have the stuff to get the, uh, the, the wonder thing, We'll do that in the next episode, and then we will actually go ahead and redo all of these roads in here. So, it can be a bit tricky, especially if you don't want to demolish your buildings and stuff. You have to physically move everything. So you have to move everything out of the way, redo it all, and then place it all back in its permanent area. So it can be a bit difficult uh, if you don't have the income, but if you do have the income, you can just... Oh look, we already got it. Sweet. And normally, as soon as... I'm just going to pause the game real quick. What I normally do is I go back and I check all of the housing and I put them all back to uh, their base um, budget because if you don't do that, you'll end up forgetting and your expenses and upkeep just goes through the roof. And then you just can't figure out why all of your money is just disappearing and that's probably why. So I'm looking for the flop house. Oh, it's right in front of me. Go put that back to there. Okay. One last thing is I want to check my Swiss bank account. We haven't actually checked it this entire time, so I don't Would know how much we're going to interest to you? It's up. Export clock. I will accept that. Okay, so we have 19,000. Yours might not look the same, uh, but that's because I'm generating... I'm generating, um, what's it called? I'm generating money from my building permits. Oh, and we've got right of arms. A right of arms, it's going to increase your liberty, which is really good. Decreases the crime rate uh, by 10%. Makes your squads stronger. And it does a few other things. So I also always add this because if people can protect themselves, the liberty is higher, which means that you have to have less police stations which is less people working in jobs like that and you can have those people working in other positions which really does count You're later on really in the end game where you need every single worker you can get your hands on so yeah as I was saying you're getting a bunch of money from your uh, bank but that will change to your Swiss bank which just makes your Swiss bank disgusting but most of my income is coming from the uh, ministry and also my building permit, because I'm doing so much building, uh, all of that is getting taken care of. So, 
what you do in this case is at the start anyway what I like to do is I like to buy all of these slots right here and I don't really touch any of this stuff right now but it's fairly cheap so I'm gonna get the police station because I don't have it and I want to buy that and then you gotta refresh a few opportunities came up nothing illegal well nothing that can be proven to break yeah. any laws all right so now you get to you can refresh once you've got enough money you can actually refresh and then all of your option changes so free wheels is actually really good so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put that on so where are we free wheels Boom. Before. so what that does is it pretty much gives any poor citizen a vehicle so it, it's really good for getting people to their jobs and working it does cost you a thousand dollars a month but that's nothing comparing that these people are going to be at work faster they're not walking around it increases the traffic flow on the roads uh, which is also an issue later on down the track but if the people can get to work faster they don't have to walk from this apartment all the way over to here they can drive there then it helps out huge and it, it can make your work so much quicker and you know that's what this game is about the faster you can do things the faster you can make your money and the faster you can progress and that's how that's how it works so we're about to get another a uh, another thing here in a second which is a export cloth but i won't worry about that too much right now i don't actually have that much to do i've just got to do a few side quests and and just continue what i'm doing right now and build up some more money and then it, get everything else completed so i think i'm going to end the episode here it's been pretty pretty good we've made a lot I'm of progress so glad. Yeah, yeah get off my screen we've, we've made a, a fair amount of progress in this video we've added a bunch of new industries we've increased our housing we've upgraded our housing we've upgraded our efficiency on the majority of our farms to i feel which is a really good amount now if i increase which i will i'm going to increase this area down here uh, with the same setup so this will go along here um, actually I might even move this actually it's a, it's the biggest issue with these is they take up so much room so we'll see what we can do here time now for the canal uno business news <laughs> but I'm happy with this I'm happy Animals with the progress and people alike celebrate and across everyone has friends right oh Perez? no I'm and not gonna right produce to help bananas. get off my screen right. I'm trying to end the video it's there we go I'm gonna pause it like I said, I think we've made tons of progress in this video. Hopefully you found something in this video which helps you out with your game and uh, helps you, you know, maybe fix some problems that you've had with yours, such, with the ed such as with the edicts and your upkeep and stuff like that. But we're doing pretty well. We're still making tons of money. Our approval is okay-ish. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, this game, you can it can change in an instant. You can go from making tons of money to being in debt. People hating you going to war constantly. But uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. I am definitely enjoying it because these are the games that I personally enjoy. So with that said, I'm going to end this video and I will see you tomorrow most likely in the third episode. So I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you next time.